I think they should get jets, but that's not going to be a decisive thing in the coming months. That's an important thing for a longer war that is depressingly the, the most likely thing to happen. There's a picture on the front page of the Times, of course. Um, I'll get you more jets, Sunak tells um, Zelensky. Um, it's quite a confusing picture, really, about uh, fighter jets, F-16s, uh, typhoons um, and all the rest of it. Um, you know, what, what actual difference and what's the timescale, really, for any kind of um, additional support from, uh, from the West, including uh, Britain? But, William, in your column today... Uh, you say shock tactics, well, this is the headline on it, shock tactics may be the key to, to Putin's downfall. And you kind of um, list all the the strange mistakes and missteps, actually, that, that Vladimir Putin has uh, made um, at the beginning and throughout um, the war. Do those shock tactics involve um, jets to Ukraine? Well, not immediately, because it takes a long time to put that in place, really. And what I was writing about there is what might happen in the next few months, I was really drawing attention to, to generalship, really, I think a, an under discussed thing, you know, there's been really incompetent military leadership on the Russian side, and very good leadership on the Ukrainian side. And this is giving them an opportunity now. Jets, though, are for the longest term, you don't suddenly magic up some jets because you have to train the pilots, you have to have somewhere for them to be based. They have to have all the air defense systems around them. Uh, it's complicated. We can't, as, as, as President Zelensky has accepted, we can't send our typhoon jets. Mm. They need runways. They fly at the wrong altitude for it. They need a lot of maintenance. But we so have then, been talking about jets for a long time. It feels that way. Well, then remember that some countries, including the UK, have started uh, a while ago training pilots. Mm. So they have been doing the, you know, it's not that nothing has been happening, but you really took to, to act get jets to be part of the Ukraine war effort, they really have to be F-16s or the Gripen fighters of Sweden, but there aren't many of those. Those would be ideal because they can take off in a very small space. So um, the, it has to be one of those. And I think they should get jets, but that's not going to be a decisive thing in the coming months. That's an important thing for a longer war that is depressingly the, the most likely thing to happen. But the chance to end the war quickly is through a military shock of the sort that I was describing and referring to some historical examples in my column today. <laughs>